Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. How to make your first game in 100 seconds. Okay, let's start the timer. Start off by going to unity.com, click on download and download the Unity Hub. Install it, open it, and install Unity 6. Then go up here to create a brand new project. Select the Universal 3D template. Set up a name, my first game. Select the path and create. Okay, now here let's right click on the hierarchy and let's construct a brand new cube. Name this the player. Let's replace it with a proper mesh and material. On the inspector, let's click on add component and add a rigid body component to add physics. Then also make sure to set up the collider correctly. On the project window, right click on the folder, construct a brand new mono behavior struct. Let's name this player. Select the player game object and on the inspector, drag the script onto it. Now here inside of this file, let's make an awake. On awake, let's grab the rigid body, just to get component of type rigid body. Then let's make an update. On update, test for input. And here, let's add some upwards force. On rigid body, add force. Let's add vector3.up and make it an impulse force. Quick test, and yep, I can jump. Great. Now, let's create another 3D cube. Name this the pipe. Select the pipe material and mesh. Place the collider correctly. Let's create another mono behavior script. Pipe. Select game object and attach it. Then here, let's just make an update. On update, just move the transform left. Back on the player script, let's add a on collision enter. Let's check if we hit the pipe. If so, let's do a game over. And on game over, let's reload the current scene. Another quick test. And yep, it works. Great. Create new empty game object. Add a box collider onto it. Make it a trigger so it's not solid. Position it above the pipe and scale it. Make another script. Score area. Attach it. Move left exactly like the pipe. On the player script, make a on trigger enter. Test if it's the score area. If so, increase the score. Expose a function to return the score. Also implement the singleton pattern. Then create a brand new UI canvas. Inside it, add a new UI text object. Set it up to show the score. Make another script. Attach it and open. On awake, let's get the component. Then on update, let's update the text. Quick test. Yep, it works. Drag the pipe on the prefabs to make it a prefab. Same thing for the score area. Duplicate and place a whole bunch of them. Put the invisible score areas in between the pipes. Quick test, everything does work. Add a little bit of polish. Play the final game. And yep, congratulations, you just made your first game. Awesome. It's a basic game, but it does count as a game. This is an excellent starting point. Now, if you are a student, you can actually get the assets that I use here completely for free. Check the link in the description to look at the Unity student license. This license comes with a bunch of awesome free bonuses. It includes a discount on the or free educational licenses for Odin Inspector and Validator, and also contains four awesome Synthi asset packs. I use the prototype pack for the pipes and the city pack for the taco. So check the link in the description to get the student license and get these packs. It's all completely free. There's no downside, so if you're a student, definitely take advantage of this awesome bonus. And then if you want to keep learning beyond this, if you want something more detailed than a 100 second video, if so, then check out my complete step-by-step -step courses. My free 10-hour Kitchen Chaos course is great for beginners. It's completely free over here on YouTube. This one will teach you how to make a really nice game from start to finish. And then also a second video turning it into multiplayer, all completely free. Or if you prefer to focus on language itself, if so, then look at my C-sharp from beginner to advanced course. It covers everything from the absolute basis for beginners, like what is a variable and function. Then the intermediate section covers things like interface and generics. And finally, on the advanced section, this one covers topics like asynchronous programming and multithreading. Alternatively, if you're already a intermediate user, if so, then check out my turn-based strategy course. This one teaches you how to build a really awesome strategy game step-by-step. -step. Or for really advanced users, for those, check out my Unity Dots course. This is how you can write 100 times faster code. It is a super powerful tool, but it is quite complex. Or in general, for learning how to use all of the tools and features that Unity has, check out my Ultimate Unity Overview course. Alright, I hope this video helped you get started on your learning journey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.